Hello folks, so today I'm going to be unboxing something really special. As you can see from the title, it is a vintage camera. I'm so excited. And I have to tell y'all, you know, it was kind of crazy um, trying to find this camera at affordable price. Plus, I'm very uh, I'm a very picky person. So I just wanted to make sure that I was getting the one that I wanted. Um, also to make sure it was tested because, again, Polaroid is a company that doesn't actually exist. Someone actually bought it. Um, there's someone called the Impossible Project, but it's now um owned by a different company so polaroid doesn't exist so you can't actually buy new polaroid cameras they would have to be refurbished any old um especially the 600 film they have to be refurbished there is a company called retrospect that you can buy it almost practically new but it's just refurbished polaroid cameras i was first going to buy it off of there and with everything with two packs of film or one pack of film which is one pack has eight Two packs has 16 and can cost anywhere from $31 to $40. I decided that I would go a different route, which is to buy it used off of Macari, which is honestly my favorite website because you could buy so many new stuff because people have so much, so many things that they don't even use. And yeah, so I'm just going to be unboxing. I'm super excited. I'm very into Instax film because um, I just think it's just amazing i'm very like <laughs> i love vintage items and i think this was like a really good find so this is my first time um like showing you guys and so you guys will be having the same reaction i'm going to be having so now we're just going to be unboxing it and i ordered it last week so it only took like a, at least like maybe less than five days to come Ugh. oh my goodness sorry y'all this is a very weird unboxing i've never done anything you know what y'all just gonna have to see me be a villain and i love doing unboxings especially since it's like my time and y'all's first time seeing it okay so he really packaged this crazy y'all don't give me scissors clearly i need those two-year-old scissors those safety lock scissors clean this off because it is used. Looks like this. Wowzers. Let me get something to clean this off with. It's like a little... And most of these... Um, I don't know why he wouldn't just wipe it off. It's not really a lot of dirt. But I like... I don't even know how. I think you just like... You have to go like this. Oh. Yeah, this one's completely new because it still has the plastic attached to it. Sorry, y'all. Looks like this. I'm very excited. Like, whoa. And then to open it, you just have to go like... You have to go like that. And it tells you right here what kind of film it takes. It takes the 600 um, Polaroid. Again, they don't make actual Polaroid original film anymore. So a different company actually took it over. Looks like this. Oh, yeah, this one's completely new because it still has the plastic attached to it. And to open it, you just have to go like, you have to go like that. And it tells you right here what kind of film it takes. It takes the 600 um, Polaroid. Again, they don't make actual Polaroid original film anymore. So a different company actually took it over. Looks like this. I'm gonna just dust it off and stuff, get it cleaned up. And we're gonna see the other accessories I have for it. So I'm just gonna wipe it gently they ordered this film online uh from walmart Ugh. and again a lot of the instex mini films have um have the instex but for the polaroid you have to get it through this right here so we're just gonna open it right here wow <laughs> this is like so real so these actually don't take batteries um the battery pack actually comes in here so I have to show you guys how it works, but you have to be very gentle with it. And you can't use expired film, obviously. A lot of people don't know that, but they don't ex produce the expiration date. It's actually a year after the production date. So here right here is the um, actual batteries that go in here. And this is from the front. Here are eight wishes used them wisely. So this is going to be my first time. I feel like I'm going to really be very like... 
woe about this. So you go like this. I think that's how you do it. Hold on. Don't tell me. Okay. I was going to say I was going to have a connection. Make sure it's all the way in like this. Bruh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited right now. So this comes out again. This doesn't use batteries. So we're going to actually test this out to see um people say to actually store these in a, um you never want to shake the film when it comes out first of all and you um it's good to store it in a colder place so we're going to go somewhere and we're going to take a photo but i just want to give you some features right here i'm gonna try to show you in the light even though it's a little bit difficult so right here i don't know if you guys can see but this is um when you before you shoot it this is from four feet to infinity feet or up closer, two feet to four feet, right that. And then you can also adjust the exposure by going, you want it either darker or you want it lighter. So that helps it right there. So I actually just shot it and I have to actually store it in a darker place. It's good to help it develop is to, you know, after you finish it, as you can see, the light is on. After you finish it, and it actually will tell you right here how many you have left. And I'm gonna put this to the side really quickly again. And here's the film I have. I'm gonna put this one in here just for memories. And I'm going on a trip soon, so I wanted to make sure I had some. And this right here, what is this? This is to for my other Polaroid camera. So yeah. I have some stickers for my other camera, but I'm gonna show you that later because that's a different video.